Hello, my name is Philip Mendoza. My colleagues and I are from the Biomedical Science Program at North High School. We are here today to talk about a new health crisis affecting the globe, including the U.S. It is called the Ebola virus. On September the 28th, the first case of Ebola was announced in the U.S. in Dallas, Texas. The fatality rate or death rate of this infection is currently 52%. This means one out of every two infected people will die from this disease. We are concerned in Akron because of how fast Ebola spreads and how dangerous this virus is. There's no need to panic. We just wish to inform you. I would like to turn this over to my colleague, Anthony Trego. The Ebola virus is spread through direct contact with bodily fluids. What makes this virus unique and dangerous is that it can be transmitted through sweat and urine, in addition to saliva, vomit, stool, and blood. However, this is not an airborne virus. To become infected, a person must have direct contact with those bodily fluids. Direct contact means that the fluids splash or spray into your mouth, eyes, or nose, or that they enter your body through cuts or breaks in the skin. My colleague Tamara Mosby will now discuss the signs and symptoms of Ebola. The first symptom of Ebola virus is fever. Other signs and symptoms include headaches, muscle aches, vomiting, weakness, and diarrhea. Unlike the flu, Ebola symptoms continue to get worse. The worst complication is internal bleeding. This means bleeding on the inside of your body. Now to my colleague, Narani Kanal. You should call your doctor or the nearest hospital immediately if you're feeling these symptoms. It is recommended to avoid contact with other people and to stay at home. Attempt to drink plenty of fluids and isolate yourself. Now to my colleague Nanda Khanal. Wash your hands frequently with soap and water. Stay away from other people's body fluids. Remember, we don't wish to scare you, but rather to inform you. Knowledge is power. Thank you for your time.